One way for microbial oceanographers to collect and view the microorganisms living in the surface ocean is to drag a net with a collection cup attached at the end. Effectively, this concentrates the sample of microorganisms. Ricardo Letelier and Angel White, scientists from Oregon State University, employ this technique. So this is one of the oldest tools that we have had in biological oceanography, and it's basically a net. It's the same type of principle that you use to catch fish. It has a um, mesh, it's two different sizes, a large size in the cone and a smaller one in this bucket that will trap everything. So all the organs that are larger than the size of the, of the mesh will get trapped in. They will be washed into this bucket. We will deploy it for around 10, 15 minutes until we consider that we have collected enough material. And then we'll bring it back on deck and we will look under the microscope what we find in here. And essentially now the step is to look at all this biomass under a microscope and see what's there. We're on this cruise mostly to look at photosynthetic microbes. They use carbon dioxide and light to make plant biomass. Interestingly, they're not the only things in the ocean. There's a lot of things that have developed um, mechanisms and make a living off of eating all these different plants. Some plants have hard parts, some have soft parts, some have spines. The zooplankton, the grazers, you'll see some pictures of those. They're phenomenal diversity. You've got organisms with long red antenna, with huge mouth, arrow worms, it just has a mouth, you know, twice the size of its body. Um, really dizzying array of movement and motion under the scope. So basically we're going to look at this biomass and get an idea of what types of phytoplankton, what types of plants are in the surface ocean, and what types of grazers or zooplankton are in the surface ocean. So we're in an upwelling regime right now. What that means is deep, cold, nutrient-rich water is being brought to the surface. So this is a very productive region. In this region, we get phytoplankton called dinoflagellates. They're armored phytoplankton. They've got hard parts. They're encased in hard parts, but they're still plants. They still use light and CO2 to make you know, phytoplankton biomass. Um, so in, this, in these samples, we're seeing tons and tons of dinoflagellates, these armored phytoplankton. In association with that, we're seeing the organisms that make a living eating them. We're seeing copepods. So lots of copepods, they've got these round bodies, long antenna, these very lipid-rich bodies. They store these wax, esters, fats. Um, and that's essentially the food web we're seeing here. Lots of copepods, lots of dinoflagellates. It's going to shift incredibly once we get out into the blue water. We'll see a totally different microbial community structure. But right now it's really interesting to look at because they're, they're kind of fun to see. What about the microbes that didn't get trapped in the net? Stay tuned to learn about them.